You're looking through the forward camera of an AR drone, uh, version 2.0. This was just released to the public, a flying drone. This is the second version. The first version has been in circulation, mostly in Europe, for the last year or two. This is controlled by any handheld device with a three-axis gyroscope and accelerometer. Such devices would include iPads, iPod Touch, a variety of other handhelds, including those running the Android operating system. Uh, this unit, as purchased, is about $300. The uh, handheld controller, the iPod Touch, which I am using, is about $200, not including taxes. Note that this has a pretty good altitude. It's not limited to near-ground operations. It's controllable in three axes, forward, back, left, right, tilt, left, right, rotation. You can combine these motions at one time if you become adept at the controller, which I have not yet done. Note that uh, when people spot this thing hovering, they actually stop the stop signs, but uh, I'm not suggesting that these should be flying around everywhere. The batteries would cost a fortune. A fully charged battery for one of these runs about 12 minutes at best. They're about $40, not including taxes and shipping. For five of them, you could fly this thing for an hour, not counting the downtime to switch out the batteries, which would take about 60 seconds. However, the low cost makes these extremely attractive to people considering doing, for example, real estate photography. You want to give people a tour of the yard? This would be one way to do it. Um, please pay no attention to the little man behind the curtain because he has an unfortunate tendency to crash. You'll see that in a minute. However, note that this is a nice tracking panning shot of the house, the neighborhood, the little man behind the curtain. Note that the camera is 720p HD and the operator can't drive real well, being a novice. Yet this thing is pretty tough. We're flying it outdoors with a hull designed for indoor use. This is to protect the rotors and uh, keep them from chopping up uh, any trees we may run into. This is a very lightweight device. It weighs maybe a pound. Most of that is in the motors, the battery, and the main boards. The hull material is extremely light, expanded polypropylene, I believe. It weighs next to nothing essential in something that you want to fly. Note that the birds don't like it too much. Once again, here we have a shot of the yard, we have a shot of the house. This thing will easily climb to above rooftop height. Here we're limited by the trees, so we can't get up that high. Pay no attention to the little man behind the curtain, please. He's still figuring this out. One of the interesting things about the AR drone is that if you take your hands off of the controls, it will pretty much hover where it was. At the height it was, it'll just pretty much stay there. If you get it outside of the control link range, the controller will let you know that. Just walk closer to it and control link will resume. The camera's lens is fisheye, although not greatly so. The automatic light control is pretty good. I believe it's a fixed focus, or not far from it. A more experienced pilot could probably do a better job with this. This unit is self-stabilizing. It is a quad rotor. It takes a fair amount of computer power on board just to keep this thing from flipping over and going face first into the ground. Yet it's really quite stable. There's a mild breeze blowing. Not much of one, but enough to make it wobble a little bit. 
it can be used in conditions up to probably about 15 miles per hour, call it 25 kmh. And that fixed focus is pretty good for quite a ways down the street. Let's try and get some altitude. You need to inspect somebody's roof. It's not as good as sending somebody up there, but this could be a whole lot quicker and involve less transportation of ladders or climbing gear. You're not going to see this in this film, however, this will easily climb to the height of uh, any of the trees that you see here. At that height, it could go higher. It starts to leave control range. At which point in time, it just keeps in one spot hovering. There is a downward looking camera at much lower resolution, 640 by 480 pixels. The onboard computer uses it in some ways to uh, keep hovering over one spot. There are ultrasonic sensors so that it can uh, determine its altitude and maintain it. And there you go. A fun toy, possibly a useful tool. The AR Drone 2.0.